Hi families, my name is Miss Dixon and I'm a third grade teacher at Success Academy, South Jamaica. I'm accompanied by the awesome... Me, Desai. Me, Dominique. And we're about to talk about math facts and why it's so important that you practice at home. So parents, we need your partnership. We need you to support teachers as we push math fact mastery. What are math facts, right? Math facts are basic calculations, such as five times two, or maybe in the younger grades, two plus one. But these are problems that you guys should be able to know on the top of your head, basic calculation. But this can only be done with mastery. Mastery happens when you practice, practice, practice. One, confidence, right? A confident scholar is self-assured and ready to take academic risk. Secondly, math reasoning. You're able to really understand the why, the how, really think beyond just the basic calculation. And then when the problems get harder, like they kind of do in third grade, right? Yeah. You have those complex ideas. You're able to really think through it and go through these problems much more efficiently because you've mastered these basic math facts. One, communicate with the teachers. Ask them what they're struggling in school. How can you support? Practice on the train, on the bus, on your ride home, as you're cooking in the kitchen. Any time you have available, go over with them. Secondly, make it fun. Talk to your scholars about what their need is and really support them. Dominique, how do you practice at home? So, how I practice is I take a pile of flashcards. I usually make piles of flash of math facts I do know and the ones I don't know. I usually practice the ones I don't know so I can get a lot much better. What about you? For me, I like to um, practice in a way where it's fun and uh, competitive and where I learn, like Ms. Dixon said. So, uh, so we created a game called Time Zone. Time Zone is a game where it has a deck that you know, to make it where you don't always know which one it is going to be. So you're always on top. So if it's like a hard question, you can use the puppet that we have to pop your answer. Or you could skip count and see it so that you can find your answer more easier. With this game, we're going to use multiplication, but it could easily be used for addition, subtraction, whatever your scholar need is. This is a great way where we just use basic stuff. We have kids love puppets. And this is a great way to get them engaged in the process and make it competitive, right? But also fun and they're learning. So we're going to demonstrate how you can do this at home. 